Hey guys, John here from ContraBim with another ArchiCAD tutorial video. In this video, I want to discuss how we can actually take our 3D textures and bring them into 2D. And the best way to do this is by creating an image fill. Now we can actually use the exact same uh, surface image that we're looking at here and we'll go through and do this for both a wood floor as well as a concrete slab and so we're going to walk through those steps of uh, setting up those new image fills and then at the end we'll actually create a graphic override where we can use that instead of the cover fill overrides to apply it across the board to any slab that's either got this concrete surface or the wood flooring surface so Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, and let's actually start with the wood flooring first. I think that's probably a little better uh, example to begin with. So, um, okay, so here we go. I'm going to select this slab because I know this one in particular is a wood floor. And so first step here is we just need to check and make sure that we are looking for the right type of surface. So if I go to my building materials when I have it selected, it'll highlight all the different materials that are in that one. So I can see our wood flooring here and the surface in this case is just called wood flooring. So that's great. Let's uh, go find our surface settings for wood flooring. There it is. All right, so this next step, I'm actually going to be using my snipping tool and I'm going to snip these settings down here because what we're looking for is we need to find this specific texture in our surface catalog. We also need to copy and paste this dimension here, uh, which will make it a little bit easier to input that when we actually go to set our image uh, fill size. So um, those are the two things we want to note and uh, I'll go ahead and just copy this right here. So I'm doing a control C in this dialog and now we can go and create a new image. Image fill, I should say. So let's hit new. We'll check our image fill option and then uh, we have a few things we can go through and do here but the first step is let's go and browse for that uh, that texture. So I'm just going to dial in here to my flooring, wood flooring, and then I'm looking for that texture that I snipped, which is floorboards 03 opt. So let's find that exact one. There it is. We'll hit OK. And I'm going to just paste that size directly in there so I don't have to type it in. It just makes it a little bit easier, especially a dimension like that. Um, okay, next step. We just need to make sure that this is scale with plan, which I think by default it always is. Um, we do want to set this as a cover fill as well as a drafting fill. And then the last step here is we can, this, this image fill uh, preview up here is not very good. Um, we can actually just kind of click and drag around here and on check a bunch of these so we can make that look a little bit more like a flooring. Okay. That's a little better. And I need to rename this. It was image fill. Let's call this wood floor image fill. Okay. There we go. Let's hit okay. And so now that we've done that, we should be able to just go in and just assign it to this particular element. Um, you'll notice that by turning on the cover fill, it uh, already had this check use fill from surface. So in order to get into that image fill, we need to go and find it right there. So, okay, there we go. We can see we have that image fill in there, which is great. And um, yeah, next step, let's go and do the same exact thing for our concrete slabs. So once again, I can just select it, pick up our materials. So concrete structural, concrete structurals, the surface. Let's go into our surfaces and just quickly snip our concrete structural. So let's do a new and we'll snip that. We're looking for concrete dark uh, CRBN dash op maybe. We need to copy that one so we can paste that in. So there we go. Copying. Let's go to our fills. New image fill concrete floor image okay we'll turn it on as a cover fill we'll browse for our concrete and what was it called it was dark 
carbon, I believe, is... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so with that, we'll select this. I'm going to paste that dimension in once again. Let it recalculate. And then the last step here is let's redo our little preview so we can try to make it look like concrete. And so to do that, let's just uh, kind of click in a few areas. We'll create a few little kind of jagged looking shapes, a few Tetris looking shapes. And that's probably good enough like that. So, all right, these settings all look fine to me. So, okay, so let's go back. So instead of applying it like we did this last round, I'm actually going to turn off this one here. Um, actually, I'm just going to use the fill from surface. So I'm going to actually highlight all of these and we'll just turn these on and use our fill from the surface in this case. And so let's go through and set up a new graphic override to apply these image fills for us. So we'll call this image fill override. Okay. Or let's call it image fill flooring and let's create a few new rules so we'll call this one wood flooring image fill actually i'm going to i like organizing these so that they're all in alignment with the rest of the rules so so we'll call one image fill wood flooring let's go in and assign this to slabs that contain a top surface here under surface and materials. The top surface is wood flooring. We'll change our fill type. If we try to go find that image fill, we can actually do this with our cut fill selected. So we need to uncheck that one and then we can go and find it. So wood floor image fill. So one down, one to go with our image fill concrete floor. So we'll do the same exact thing. Slab, top surface, concrete, structural. Turn these on. Concrete floor image. Okay, there we go. So with this graphic override applied, we should see those all change and they did. So perfect, there we go. We can now see we have these set up. Um, what's really awesome about this is it's, it's a large image fill, it's high resolution. Um, as you make adjustments here, obviously it's going to be, you know, adjusting with it. So we're not creating any sort of additional, uh, imagery to mask all these things. So, um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to do. And one other use of this is we can actually apply this to zones as well. If you turn on, let's see, a cover fill, you can go in and apply that to a zone also, which can be cool. Say if you have zones set up for specific rooms where you want to apply an image fill to that particular zone, then you can totally do it that way. So um, I'd have to look into the graphic override options there to control it uh, through that type of manner. But um, nonetheless, uh, there we go. We've now created a few image fills. It's pretty easy. We just need to go in and find where they're stored in the uh, in our image catalog. And then we just need to uh, create the image fill. And in this case, we mapped it to, or we, we used a graphic override to map it to the surfaces that are actually um, relating to those same fills. So, or the same textures. So, Anyway, um, I hope this makes sense to you. Um, if you have any questions on this, then definitely leave them in the comment section. Um, if you like this type of content, then definitely subscribe. I'll probably expand on this in more detail in a written blog that kind of just does a step-by-step -step on what to look for and how to set all this up, how to do the graphic override. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video and uh, we will see you on another one here soon. Thanks for watching.